answers. I, I don't have answers. All you can do is find a way to hide. <laughs>
Then number four, tip four, you need a plan for electricity. Now in South Africa, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, we have load shedding, which means our power gets turned off at random. So many power, many, many power, many people have generators in their homes which generate electricity for when load shedding occurs. Simply, we would just have to go steal a generator. Why steal and not purchase? Well, it's a zombie apocalypse. I don't think people are going to be too worried about who buys what from where. I think they're just going to want to survive through the night. So we'll go steal a generator and use that. And um, if that doesn't work, if my plan is flawed, then I will ask my boyfriend who um, is much, much, much smarter than me in, in terms of how we get power, how we can use it, how we can um, survive for longer. I'll just ask him to think of a plan. I, I'm pretty safe in his hands, I think. The very last tip or point that you have to consider in a zombie apocalypse is what comes next. If you have your basics, if you know where you're going to get your food, your water, your power, that sort of thing from, and you've got a, head, a roof over your head and you're going to be safe, what are you going to do when that stuff runs out? When, when that doesn't work anymore? Or you're just going to live in fear all your life in your house? What are you going to do? So the next step in my mind is you will have to reach out to other survivors and um, start your own community. Now, obviously, this could be very difficult. Um, already, it's quite difficult because we all have different personalities and sometimes we may clash in terms of opinion. However, this is a zombie apocalypse. There is no time to mess around. You need help. So take it if you can get it. Be dead. much and that folks is everything that I have to say about the zombie apocalypse those are my tips not really tips things you need to consider things you need to think of and uh, luckily I already have so if the zombie apocalypse does occur please just give me a call and I'll be happy to help you out if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up like it and um, of course subscribe I'll see you next week and hopefully I'll be better by then. Bye.